Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here. And hopefully you guys are having fun with the Sparrow Racing League and the dotting event that just came to Destiny yesterday. So I've been trying to win a lot of the Sparrow Racing League and get to my Class S license as well as rank 5 to get those little extra rewards that they have in the shop. Now, while throughout playing SRL, I found that winning matches is not actually that easy. And there's actually multiple quests to come in the top three, and then after that there's actually another quest to win races. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys some quick tips and tricks on how you can actually end a race in first place. Now, keep in mind, even though you may not start out a race very well, or you might mess up a couple times here and there, you can easily still end in first place. So you're going to see here in this race, on my first lap I was doing pretty good, but unfortunately I screwed up really bad and ended up in dead last place. Now I was able to come back all the way from last place to first, so definitely stay tuned throughout this video guys. I'm going to show you guys the tactics and the tips and tricks that I use in Sparrow Racing League to make sure that I always at least finish in the top 3, if not in first place every single time. So the basis of winning most of these races in the Sparrow Racing League has to do with your boost meter. So if you did not know, underneath your speed there's actually a little meter here which will turn blue every time that you have boost. If you look underneath that, you'll actually see three little lines as you race, and then you will continually fill up, and every time that you have one of those lines, you actually have another Last bit of boost lead. that you can use as the thrust to go around corners. First. So if you Thank use L1 and R1, you actually thrust left or right, just depending on which button you hit. Now, I use this every time that I go around really sharp turns, or any time that I'm trying to pass people. If you thrust while you go through the turn, you won't lose any speed, and it's a lot easier to end up passing a lot of people if they don't use the thrust, or if they end up taking a super wide turn. The first tip that I can give you guys is to cut all of your turns as hard as possible so you really don't want to try to take super wide turns. You want to be as close to the wall as possible while turning and while using L1 through the turn or R1 through the turn if you're making a right turn, it will actually allow you to completely thrust all the way through the turn and not lose any speed whatsoever. And that's how I actually end up gaining a lot of my positions back as a lot of the people in front won't be cutting their turns or they'll be getting bumped by a lot of the other players so they're not able to drive in a straight line allowing me to catch up. So anytime that you're ahead and you want to stay there, you really want to be driving in as straight as line as possible, trying not to bump into the other racers. It's only going to slow you down and make you possibly blow up your Sparrow. So you really want to just make sure that you're not bumping anybody and you're hitting as many boost gates as you possibly can while taking the turns really, really sharp. So if you're hitting those boost gates, you will actually earn boost for hitting the boost gates a certain amount of times in a row. Also, every time you go over a jump, you want to try to hit any button on your D-pad whether it be left, right, up, down, it doesn't really matter, but anytime that you're in the air, if you hit the D-pad, you will actually do a trick as you just saw me do in the air there, and you will see me do it throughout the rest of this race. Every time I'm in the air, you see me throw a trick, and the reason I'm doing that is because every time that you successfully land a trick, you will actually gain another bit of boost back. So really, all you really want to be doing is getting as much boost and thrust as possible, so that way you always have it, and really you can just outmaneuver all the other racers that don't have the boost and the thrust in order to get around turns. So it's very important really just to have as much thrust as you possibly can just to get around corners faster and to dodge people if they try to blow you up on any sort of walls or anything. So if you always have the thrust and every time you take a turn you're using thrust, you're going to be able to cut a lot of time off your laps and that way no one's ever really going to be able to catch up to you and if you're behind you're going to be able to catch up to the people that are in front of you. So all I really try to do anytime that I'm behind people is just try to take the, a more inside route than they do every time that they make a turn. I try to stay as close to them as possible without bumping into them, but also just still close enough to the point where if I want to try to pass them on the inside, I still can when they try to take a super wide turn or they think a turn is a little sharper than it actually is. So really what you want to try to do is kind of just wait for people to mess up a little bit. So it will be a little bit luck based. Like if the guy in front of you is a really good racer and he doesn't screw up, you're not really going to be able to do anything to beat him. If you're cutting your turns, and if you're both cutting your turns as hard as you possibly can, it's not really going to be able to do anything. Now when you see people try to go out of their way to take shortcuts like that, like going up the ramp, you want to keep in mind that in most situations, it's not faster to take the higher ground because of the fact that there are more boost gates on the ground. So if you go on that bottom route, especially on this track here, you're actually going to be a lot faster because you're going to end up hitting two boost gates in the time it takes them just to hit one, which will allow you to cut a few more seconds. So you definitely don't want to try to go up on that higher ground on this track at least, as that's really not going to speed you up. It's only going to slow you down. So you really do want to try to learn the routes on the tracks that work for you best, that way you don't crash. Also, you want to be trying to take the faster route. So here, when you can easily cut the left, you know it's going to be faster than trying to take a super wide turn out on the right. So every time you come around that track, you want to try to cut through the left turn. So all in all, the key to winning SRL, or at least finishing in the top three, is really just trying to get all the boost gates you possibly can, making sure that you take your turns as efficiently as possible and not take super wide turns. That way it doesn't take you any extra time. And you also want to try to use your thrust while making your turns. That way you don't lose any speed. 
So with these tips, hopefully you guys will be able to end in the top three, if not first place in a good majority of your SLR races. So if these tips did help you guys out today and help you guys win a couple more races, please be sure to drop a like down below and help support the channel and get these tips out to more people that might want to find them. Other than that, guys, hope you guys did enjoy, and I will catch you guys tomorrow in another Destiny video. Peace.